Spring Hill. And fishing has not been good here in Oklahoma. It's just absolutely terrible. Like today it was like 74 and then we had a cold front run through tonight. So it dropped it down to like in the 30s and tomorrow it's supposed to be like 29 with like ice and stuff. So yeah, the weather has been so up and down. It's just been throwing my fish off. But anyways, I thought I would just go ahead and bring you guys my top baits for springtime fishing. The spring is just around the corner and it'll be here before we know it. Catching some bed fish, you know, catching the spring bass. So I'll probably give you out my top baits. Um, probably name a lot more out, but these are just what I had in the house. And I didn't, like, I went outside once and I didn't want to go back outside because it was cold and I didn't feel like doing that. So let's start off with some moving baits. Uh, for the springtime, I would throw something like a Lipus, Lipus clam break. This is on a sexy shad color. Uh, red would also work like a car dead color. Red is really good during the spring time, so I would probably start off with one of those. If I'm fishing around a lot of rocks, I would move to like a squirrel bill. And like I said, red's a good color, so I have a red squirrel bill here. And this is what I would throw around like a lot of rocks and all flats and stuff. So those are my moving baits. And then the second really good bait that I would like to throw during the winter time, not the winter time, but the uh, springtime, is a drop bait. Drop baits are really good during springtime. Uh, and this is in like a shad colored. So a red one would probably look, a white one would look as well. And another thing here recently I found out last year, and I didn't really get into this type of fishing, is swim baits. And I picked me up one of these, this is it's a little jointed swim bait. And I picked me up one of these last, I think last spring, and I fished this throughout the summer, and some of my, you know, more consistent bites came off of swim bait. And this is just one of them I would throw during the springtime. And another one, especially around the spawn, I would throw more of like a bluegill uh, style of swim bait. Um, there's bass, or you know, getting ready to go to lay those eggs, and bass do not like bluegills around the beds. Speaking of like bluegills, like I would throw another one I would throw would be a spinner bait. Especially like bluegill pattern, shad pattern. Um, you know, shad, uh, uh, a bluegill pattern more around the, when the spawn's happening, when the fish are on the bed, the shad's when they're feeding up, getting ready to go to the spawn. That would be another bait I would throw is a uh, spinner bait. And then you start transitioning into, you know, the spawning time and basking and getting on their beds. And so, and like, you know, they're getting tucked up underneath, you know, under lay downs and stuff like that. So I've got a couple of baits here that I would throw on the spawn. Uh, and, you know, throughout the rest of the rest of the summer as well, I would pick up a jig. Jig is my all time favorite bait to throw. It's, it, you can, you know, throw it like a spinner bait. It's more weedless than a you know, spinner bait. You don't have to worry about, you know, if you're throwing it through a bunch of, uh, limbs, you don't have to worry about the blades catching on it, you know, after that is a jig, uh, it goes through brush really well, so jig's all time favorite one, uh, the colors on these I would kind of mimic more of like a bluegill, this one's a green pumpkin with some blue mixed in, um, especially around the, like, the spawn time, you know, like I said a while ago, bass do not light bluegill at all, so, and then, you know, when summer starts coming in, you switch to more of a car pattern as well. Uh, but this is one I would throw, and then you could get a bass on a bed. You want your little bit brighter colors, so you know you like your pinks, you know your yellows, your whites. Uh, this is another one I would throw on the bass on their beds. I would throw a white one. Uh, this actually, this size actually is a one ounce. I've got it on because I have some ideas I would like to try. Um, but yeah, I would throw a white, especially around the bed, so you can see that bait on there. And when that bait disappears, you know you've got that fish on there. Um, and another thing I would throw, because not, not a lot of everybody likes throwing jigs on beds. Uh, the hookup ratio is kind of iffy sometimes. Uh, another thing I would throw is soft plastics. Um, you know, crawdads, throw some type of crawdads. A uh, really good bed bait is actually a lizard. Uh, bass, this, you know, they think, you know, it's a little lizard's down there eating the eggs. And this would be another good bed bait. It's another really good springtime bait. Uh, you know, your other good bait would be like a brush hog, something like that. And, you know, Texas Rig Worm is always another, one of my favorite ones. This is, I believe, a, a 10 or 12 inch worm. Uh, I've kind of came to liking the big old braids. Um, I fish a lake and 
this is my like go-to warm on that lake. Uh, and another one is a seven and a half inch one, and that was what I throw. Um, you know, other things would another good springtime bait would be maybe a, you know a frog when you're searching for those bed fish. Um, buzz baits is another good one. Spooks, poppers, you know that's be good for top water. I didn't get bring any of my top water stuff in, but this right here is my main baits that I would throw during the springtime. Uh, I you know. So it's starting to get kind of warmer. We have some warm days, and then all of a sudden it gets cold for three, four days. So like right now, like I'm saying, like here in Oklahoma, the weather is so messed up. Hopefully, if we can get a good stretch of good warm weather, get those fish moving up, I'll be sure to bring you guys along, and you guys will see some awesome fishing videos. I also have a question for you guys. I'm thinking about doing vlogs, showing you guys my daily life, and showing you what I do on a daily basis. Uh, I don't know if you guys are interested in that, so let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry about this is not a fishing video. I wish it was. I went out fishing today. No luck. I went fishing the other day, uh, a few days ago. No luck at all either. So hopefully, get some good warm weather, and I'll catch you guys to fish. And let me know how you guys think about that vlog, because it, it's been really something I'm thinking about doing, you know? You guys get to see me the outside of life of me while I'm not fishing. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, go subscribe, go hit that little bell notification. Love this channel just to blow up this year. This will be, I'm, I've got a good feeling for this year. This is like the year for me to start gaining subscribers. I'm hopeful and I've been doing this a little over a year now, so I'm hoping I'm on the climb up. Anyways, I will catch you guys on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, because subscribe is really important right now. But anyway, catch you guys on the next video. Go out there, have some fun, and catch some fish.